New study found more than 75% of people worry about misinformation related to artificial intelligence. And for good reason, a separate report found that more than 90% of things online could be generated by AI by 2025. It's clear the technology isn't going anywhere. Two wants to know Ben Briscoe set out to find ways to spot a fake. One of these two clips of audio is the real me. The other is a clone voice created by AI. Listen to see if you can tell the difference. Is this audio clip the real Ben Briscoe? Or is this clip the real Ben Briscoe? If it was hard for you to tell, help is on the way. Thanks for joining us for the Good Morning Show. I'm Ben Briscoe. To make the artificial intelligence voice, I ripped 30 seconds worth of me talking straight from the news. Uploaded it to free tools online and within minutes produced a fake voice that has you thinking, that was way easier than it should have been. Going back to those two clips of audio, the first one was the fake. Listen again to see if you can hear the computer sound of the voice. Is this audio clip the real Ben Briscoe? If you still can't tell, try the new app AI Spy. It promises to identify AI audio by looking for issues like inconsistencies in pitch, speed, and volume. After running the fake clip through the app, it says, likely contains some AI. When I ran the real clip through the app, it confirmed it was really me. The app's creator says their test show the app is pretty accurate. Depending on where the source material is, we're, we're in the high 90s. When it comes to spotting photos of AI, like this one of the Pope, the BBB says it's best to zoom them in and look at the details. For example, part of the chain necklace is missing right here. You also always want to look at the hands and the fingers. When you look at his, he's only got three fingers when you zoom it in. The BBB says AI generated photos also have this glossy appearance that doesn't quite look lifelike. If you really are still having trouble, throw it in Google Images and see if anyone else has fact checked it first. What is love? When it comes to AI generated video, some of them, like this one of me singing, are fun and easy to spot. But bad guys are getting more advanced too, creating even better fakes like this of former President Obama and former President Donald Trump. There are a lot of red flags that you can kind of pick up on, strange glitches. Connor Beveridge teaches AI detection to his students at Wayne Community College in Goldsboro, North Carolina. He says the AI glitches are different than the ones we're used to seeing over Zoom calls and FaceTime. Really abnormal in pixelation in certain parts of the images while, while the rest of the image looks smooth and real. Unnatural other types of movement, so a lack of blinking, uh, strange blurs and just abnormalities in the, in the face and hair. And if you're on a Zoom call with someone, remember that can be faked too. You wanna to verify if they're really the person they claim to be, you can tell them to wave their hands in front of their face. And if it is a deep fake, you'll see some sort of glitching there. The bottom line, anytime you suspect something might be fake, voice your concern to someone else and get their opinion. With the help of artificial intelligence, I'm Ben Briscoe. But the experts also told us today's tactics might not last long. Technology keeps getting better and better, so it's important to trust your gut. If anything seems off to you, it probably is.